Hello guys, uh, today I want to introduce the new um, techniques and, and advantages uh, with the Lenovo Mix and the uh, USB 3G modem. Uh, yesterday um, the connector or the step up controller arrived for the uh, Lenovo Mix. It's a step up from uh, 3.3 volts to 5 volts because we only find a source from 3.3 uh, volts so I connected all the wires to it to get a 5 volt source for the uh, external 3G modem it's still dismantled so only for testing purpose I have um, the half of the cover there to mount the SIM card so what we have right now this is the step up controller. Maybe I can make a zoom to it. Stop. Uh -huh. It does not work. It does not work. No zoom. Yeah, here you can see it. And further we go from the 3.3 volt source from the sensor board out going to the step up controller making from the 3.3 volts a 5 volt source for the USB connector here okay so I tried a little bit around with this and now we go for some testings with all the stuff so for this I turn around the Lenovo be careful because of the wires and I will start the device right now. I hope it will go. Yeah, here it is. So we wait for Windows coming up there. Okay, here we are. Oh, stop. Direction of the screen back to standard now I have to change the password stop okay here we go go to desktop and now um, we try to connect the USB uh, 3G modem but with this side with this side, I'll oh, stop with this side up because here's the indicator LED for, for the state of the USB modem. So let's go. Okay. Um, it will not recognize the modem st uh, sometimes. I don't know why. I think the current is too low from the 3G, 3.3 uh, volt sensor board. Now you can see a, a green flashing there. So it tries to connect to the. Um, stop, I have to go for my pin. Go. So it tries and tries to connect sometimes or one time I get it managed to connect. Oh no, it working. Oh, and that's a that's a checkpoint right now. No, you can see something happened here. It recognizes the modem and after a few seconds uh, the modem is going away. So I think the current is not enough and the modem is, is resetting itself. So we can try again. I go for my pin. And we will see what happens. Yeah, it's there. It's there and then it disconnects. It wants to go to the 3G connection from the normal uh, GPRS. But um, every time it will do this, it will reset. So at this point we try a different story. I tried around with my... Um, OTG connector It's a powered OTG connector and it works really really well on the Lenovo But at this time I don't want to connect the power source 
on the external power source to, to charge it I will only go for the OTG um, function so I will disconnect the modem here okay let's go off and we go back for the normal OTG I go back to portrait mode okay still here and now connecting the modem to the OTG and see what happens so as far now there is a 5 volt source coming out of the OTG connector if it is connected that's really crazy at the moment so um, we have the same it recognizes the modem it knows ah there is a sim card then connect to the sim card I go back for the pin okay that's it and go next and you can see it's flashing green it's searching for signal oh, it should go quicker but um, on the OTG adapter connected with the modem it's getting uh, normally without any problems to the internet yeah it's connecting what's going on there maybe a standby no right now the the Lenovo is shutting down that's a uh, that's a bad thing so I saw this the last times a few times but uh, I think it's uh, because of the because of the power source there or maybe the main board is not connected correctly so um, at this point I can show you something the OTG adapter is always powered up from the main board so um, it's not possible to to um, disconnect the modem when it is built inside so the modem will will uh, take any time energy from them from the battery that's a bad habit so I don't will do this and uh, without a switch or a transistor inside to switch the external power source from the OTG yeah it's still flashing there yeah okay I don't know why it's going off for this we go back and I will start it again stop it will start again the modem is still in, in, in power condition maybe the battery is low or I don't know what happens okay come on come on don't take that long time it's a bad promotion for Windows okay here we go I have to go for my passport okay okay back there the modem is still in working condition we go back to settings disco it recognized the modem oh it is connected at this moment so there's no Wi-Fi uh, antenna connected to the device maybe this is the problem uh, why it shuts down sometimes I don't know but I will go there we go for scheisser.net oh try it again it does not work that's bad back disco still connected there switching off mobile broadband maybe we try to start it again it's off right now and going back to working condition so I can tell you this is all only testing a little bit uh, reverse engineering and testing of the Lenovo Mix so it's not stable in this condition but you can see right now the modem is, is going for a cyan um, color so it, it means it has HSDPA uh, connection at this moment 
I will go on with a late. Uh, I will go on later with a video. So this is the first test, and maybe you can see that there are advantages for everything. So um, visit us at www.schieiser.net, and you can see much more of this ongoing with the Lenovo Mix. So see you 